Thai people are a plague to the planet. Okay, my fellow milk cricket. Every black woman on this planet should be entitled to financial compensation just for existence on this earth in this society. Right. I'm still now. I scream right now. Y'all know who I am. Black History Month. Social respect, ho. Hey guys, it's Misha, and welcome back to my channel. I know everyone's really sad about Black History Month almost being over. I want to talk a little bit about a woman who was telling us how we should have behaved, in case you missed that. But I do want to start with this AI from Google. It's called Gemini. It would not show you white people no matter what. So we're going to take a look at that. But before we do, please make sure you are subscribed and have hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. Here are what Vikings look like, apparently. Just white people existing. That is is racist. Show me an image of a pope, right? An Indian woman and a black man. There have to be all kinds of different people if you want to truly be diverse. Being diverse does not mean, let's forget about white people, let's pretend they don't exist. Let's erase them completely. The problem is that it's not just some silly little app or something. This program, right? This AI is going to be used in schools. This is from Google, right? Everyone uses Google. And the fact that it has such a bias, and you take a look at who's creating this, who's programming this, here's a soldier, in case you didn't know, in case you skipped history class, right? Nazis uh, were known for being very diverse. They cared a lot about inclusivity. Hey, fellow white people, Black History Month is tomorrow. Let's not do anything to ruin it this year. Okay, my fellow milk crickets? Milk crickets? Okay, milk I guess, cause like white, we're white, okay. Crickets? Is this like a common thing? I have never heard someone call white people crickets. We're gonna be good this year. Yes, we are. And if we are, maybe you'll get a prize. But you have to be good. You can't ruin Black History Month this year. This was probably one of the cringiest things I've ever seen in my life. This is what she said. White people can't experience racism in any way shape or form <laughs> i love the little thing at the top they them you didn't have to tell us we knew people can't experience racism so i was not being racist towards white people in that video ended up talking to this entire race of people as if they were all toddlers but that was after you proceeded to dehumanize them by calling them a racial slur which associated them with insects and milk in relation to their skin color. You were indeed being racist and no amount of savior syndrome is gonna save you from that fact. That I took it down is because I got a little bit of feedback from some people who matter. Black people, some black person said, actually, what the heck are you saying? What is that? The black people have spoken. Okay, now I now I will private it or, or delete it or whatever, right? Because the white people are worthless. You have to hate yourself to post something like that. Speaking to white people like children, like who do you think you are? Do you think you're black? Like, do you not realize you're white? Hi, my fellow white people. I know you're all idiots and you're all little kids and I have to speak to you like I'm speaking to a child, but we're gonna be good this Black History Month. Yeah, we're gonna be good allies by hating our own race. Black people, do you hear that? I, I, I hate being white. I hate white people. Give me attention, give me validation. Girl, that is so embarrassing. Now you have white and black people hating you. It's completely unnecessary. Calling people of a certain race a derogatory term because of the color of their skin, interesting. Oh, this is like a pick me girl. This is like actually a pick me girl in terms of race though. Like usually we talk about it. Oh, like she wants the uh, male validation. This is like, you want black people's validation. She reminds me of that one white girl on TikTok from a while ago where she was saying, you know, we don't want this, like referring to white people, but we need this. We love this when talking about black people. And then every race rejected her. They were like, we don't want you girl. It was the funniest thing. And I'm sure that this they them is the same way. We want this, we love this, we need this, but this, yeah, we don't need this. As a member of the African-American community, we would like to humbly decline your offer. Since you don't want your own race, maybe the Hispanics will take you instead. Thank you for the referral on that, but uh, the Hispanic community, we're gonna have to pass on that. You could check the Asians though. As a representative of the Asian community, after careful consideration, Unfortunately, we cannot take her. We'll offer her up to the Indians. We would also like to humbly deny this offer. Maybe the Egyptians would be interested. There's no way. Gotta pass this one back to the white boys. No. If you watched my last video about anti-white racism, you might remember that it's racist to smile at black people. Now it's also racist to walk, apparently. Black person has experience walking around or near white people and 
they will literally bump into you or not move out your way or hit you with their car. The study done that showed like they really don't view us as human beings when when we walk in. Like they're not gonna step out the way when it comes to us. And ever since I learned that, I don't move out the way for white people no more. Like if what study? I see you coming the same way you see me coming. And when I tell you, I big body, strong body. So when you're on a busy street. And a lot of people are walking, right? And someone bumps into you or they're just like walking. They don't like stop and start bowing to you and kissing your feet and, you know, whatever. And praying to you as if you are a god. That means that they're racist and they don't see you as people because of a study you found. Okay. Or maybe no one actually cares about you. They're just trying to get to their destination. And they don't give you a second thought because you're actually not that important. Bob, big body, strong body, boom. She turned around, she, yeah, you saw me, just like I saw you, and I ain't stepping to the side. I ain't step you think, oh, that's a white lady, so I'm gonna bump into her. Yeah, yeah, I bumped into you. That's what you're doing. You're being rude and obnoxious to people because of their race. Here is a PowerPoint um, from a classroom. It says, white people are a plague to the planet. Yeah, your usual university classroom um, in America nowadays. The subheading is historical ties between homophobia in communities, color, and colonization. Yeah, so we will not be able to fix this problem if everyone just sits back and says, yeah, I'm gonna write about the homophobia in communities, color, and colonization, and how white people are a plague. I'm just gonna go write that on my laptop because I want that A. Now I know, I told, I've been in that situation, so I know how that feels. You don't wanna get a bad grade because your professor is looking for a specific answer and you know that they're gonna fail you if you don't write what they want you to. But that's still a problem. I know everyone's situation is different. Not everyone can transfer. Not everyone can drop out of that class. But as long as people sit back and take it and say, okay, yeah, well, I just want to pass. So I'm just going to write about how white people are a plague. Then nothing's going to change. Then actually it'll keep getting worse. Maybe it's some kind of weird way of admitting that you yourself are racist. Like maybe the white saviors, which happen to be mostly like these uh, leftist women, right? Who are white. Maybe that's a way of them actually outing themselves as a racist because to agree with that, to say, yes, I am secretly racist. Like in the back of my mind, I might not like know that I'm racist, but deep down I'm actually a racist person and I do these things and they're so right. Like, is that you admitting that you yourself are racist? Okay, you gotta figure that out yourself. You shouldn't be speaking for all white people and saying we all gotta put in the work. Yeah, you little milk uh, crackers or whatever, milk cricket, let's be good. Let's not ruin Black History Month again. Girl, if you're racist, just say you're racist. If you're putting in that much work, that much effort trying to convince people that you're not racist, I'm just saying that's suspicious. That's suspicious. I think they're actually the racist ones. And then people that aren't spending every second of their day thinking about race, comparing white and black people, I think those are the normal ones. And then maybe, just maybe, if you can't think about anything else, white versus black, you got a problem. A university employee made some racially charged comments where the teacher's assistant is standing by his words. The online comments and videos of UGA teacher's assistant Irami Yose Frampong are spreading rapidly. There's got to be a reason why he's saying that. You know, he's not just being that crazy. Uh, yeah, he has to have a reason. It can't just be because he's racist. Frampong, who calls himself the funky academic online, recently commented on Facebook, some white people may have to die for black communities to be made whole and fighting white people is a skill. I didn't advocate for violence. I was just honest about the history of racial progress. This is a confrontation last September between Osei Frampang and then UGA student Andrew Lawrence. You said that every suburban community in Georgia raises white supremacists. How can you possibly say that? Some white people may have to die. You stick with that. Yeah, I'm confused on why that's so controversial. White people can't experience racism, right? Or black people can't be racist, period. Hey white men, due to systemic and structural racism that black women have had to endure, they only make 64 cents to every dollar that you make. You hear this a lot with modern feminists and the wage gap. When they become pregnant, they want to start a family and so they work less, right? And they tend to choose different jobs. There are less women in STEM fields, which pay more. So this is not because you're black. This is not because uh, society does not like women or black people or whatever you're thinking. It's probably because you're not working in the same jobs as men are. So as a fitting start to Black History Month, I want to take what you will make today 
multiply it by 64%, and then take that difference and give it to some black women today. This shows that you are honoring them, that you are appreciating them, and that you are dedicated to equity. And black women, you know what to do. What should black women that make more than the average white male do though? Like Oprah, what should she do with her money? Should she donate it to the white people? Every black woman on this planet should be entitled to financial compensation just for existence on this earth and this society. And though I could go down my laundry list of reasons and likely convince you to and show you why I believe that, I'm not going to. You'll understand when you do. Toodles! That's the best argument, right? This is something like a five-year-old would say. Yeah, I deserve more playtime, but I'm not going to tell you why. Like, you just know. You know I'm right. I don't even have to explain myself to you. You don't have a, an argument. This is nonsense. I don't even have to. Like, it's so obvious. It's so obvious why I deserve uh, compensation for being black. So, is it a microaggression or is a white lady just being nice? A co-worker says to me. The green hair, though. She's about to say something really stupid. You're running this meeting very well. Mind you, the person who was supposed to run the meeting didn't come. So it could have just been a nice compliment. No, of course not. She's white. That's racism. Naturally. What do y'all think? Okay, three things. Impact, intent, precision. Would she have felt compelled to say the same thing to a straight white male? We don't know because we can't guess her intent. It must be exhausting thinking this way. You can't win. White person says something mean to you. That's racism. White person says something nice to you. That's racism. White person doesn't give you a raise. Obviously racism. White person does give you a raise. Racism. You cannot win. To be a black person living in America, having all the privileges you do, right? And then also being able to get away with all this nonsense, right? When you're actually being racist. And still think that you are a victim. And still think that white people hate you. They just, they naturally hate you. Like, I can't even say go to a therapist because a therapist will affirm that because all therapists, almost a majority of them, right? They're all woke. So they're all going to agree with that. But try to find peace in your life because living this way, you're going to be a miserable person. If you really think that no matter what a person does because of their race, they actually are, it's a microaggression and they hate you. That's sad. Did I feel offended? No, I didn't. But that doesn't mean other people wouldn't be. So I think it's both. And that's why it's important to be explicit with your language. If you feel offended, it is actually racist. That's a great idea. So next time that someone, you know, says you offended them, you could be expelled. You could be fired just because of their feelings. Right. Great idea. Makes a lot of sense. This is Fannie Willis's father, who's referring to Jesse Unra a white politician as a cracker multiple times in a recorded video. After the election, I was so pissed off at that. How could this Texas cracker come here and run the black community? I was just livid about- Who are you referring to? Um, uh, Jesse Hunter, Hunter, big daddy, fat Texas cracker. Okay, Hunter, okay, him, okay. Okay, um, no, not okay. Not okay. Here is a white woman kissing the feet of black men again. Oh, this happens a lot for whatever reason. Two. Come here. Because Christ would kiss them. You That's hear me? Because right. Jesus would kiss them. That's right. Give a hand there, man. Jesus well, would kiss them. Right and Jesus right. would wash them. Huh? You're one of the good ones. Yeah, you're one of the good ones. And then she can go home to the other Karens and say, you know what happened today? I saw a black person. And you know how they are. They need special treatment. So I kissed her shoes. And no other white right. baby that had any kind of race, any right. kind of, I'm just telling you, this is right. good, hey, you, it you, is you, some you good thing. Y'all be blessed. That's so embarrassing. Okay, next. Here we have a black woman who was being too loud in a restaurant. She was told she was being too loud. But because she was told by two white women, that's racist. And also she made it clear that this is Black History Month. So she can be as loud as she wants. So listen. Quiet enough for you? Am I quiet enough for you? The lady that told me to shut up. Man, do you know who I No. Who are you? Is up quiet enough? The um, old white ladies at the casino, they wear their hair like yours. Talk how I'm a talk, I'm a be who I'm a be. Black is in this restaurant, what's up? No one's gonna do anything. If this was a white person, screaming like this in a restaurant they would ask them to leave because this is unacceptable behavior what's up i'm still loud i scream right now ah! check please they would kick her out they would do something because this should not be allowed in a restaurant 
but she gets away with it. Insufferable person. Yeah, I see you. You one of them trying to spit a chick. Cash me out. Y'all know who I am. Stop playing with a Again, who are you? No one knows who you are. I'm black. And all black. It's like black enough. And whenever you see a really angry person, know that you're seeing a person who's afraid. That person is afraid inside and that's why they have that kind of reaction. That's what happens when you have that victim mentality. You think everyone's out to get you. You think everything is racist and it's sad. Black History Month. Show some respect, ho. Cause she's really respectful. Yeah, yeah. The women aren't even saying anything. They're literally like in the corner minding their own business or whatever, not responding. It's Black History Month. You're in public. You're in a restaurant. Be quiet. What is wrong with you? I think everyone was just pissed off because you're being loud talking about, do you know who I am? No, no one knows who you are. Who are you? Even if you were some like hot shot, like superstar, whatever, it doesn't matter that that allows you to be rude, to be loud. No. Okay, my fellow milk crickets, crackers, and others, that's all for today's video. Please let me know what you think about these videos in the comments below. Remember to like the video, subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.